everyone, welcome to Maeve TR Creations. Today's video is a part of the Psychedelic Forest collab hosted by Snail Ooze Art on Instagram. It just so happens that this collab came at a perfect time. I was already planning on making this doll and she fit the theme perfectly. I'm going to be making Rapidash from Pokemon in her Galarian form. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, you find this shy pastel colored unicorn in a forest filled with glowing mushrooms. I'm going to be using this Avia Trotter doll. I removed her head already because I'd read that her neck peg can be pretty fragile and I was scared of breaking it since she's kind of a rare find. I cut off her hair and removed the glue and removed her face with 100% acetone. Here's her body. She was sculpted to be a centaur slash harpy hybrid, so she has feathered details on her arms. I don't need that for my character, so I'm going to swap out her arms and hands. I'm using Draculaura's forearms and hands from an Ever After High doll. I believe Jackie O used the same combo in her Galaxy Unicorn video, which also uses Avia as a base. I'll link that video below. Why didn't I just use Draculaura's hands? Well, I prefer the delicate pose of the Ever After High hands and thought it would better fit the character. As you can probably see, I have thoroughly sanded the body off camera. Hopefully this will help the paint stick better. I'm also going to be using this plastic adhesion spray. I found it in the automotive section of Canadian Tire. I tried it out on my mannequin doll and it seems to really help prevent the paint chipping, especially around the joints. I gave the doll two coats of this stuff and let it dry. Taking her out to my dad's workshop, I coat the body and head first in Vallejo primer, or at least I try to. My airbrush was being particularly stubborn, and even after thinning the paint down quite a bit, it was still spraying oddly. That's okay, there is always multiple ways to achieve the end result. I took the doll back to my desk and hand painted her using a combination of golden brand titanium white, gesso, and golden brand pearl white to give her a magical shimmer. I'm also going to paint her hooves with a dark metallic purple. Once everything is painted, I coat the whole body with three layers of Liquitex matte varnish, then two layers of Mr. Super Clear. I also seal the paint on her head. Time for hair. First, I paint the scalp using light purple and mint green. This will guide me in my reroute and tell me which color goes where. I also mark where the part should go for her bangs. I'm going to be using these two colors of nylon hair from the Doll Planet. I also have some leftover glow-in-the-dark nylon from Custom Doll Hair AU, so I'm going to mix a few highlights of that in. After I was finished, I noticed the part looked kind of thin, so I filled it in with the glow-in-the-dark hair and squeezed some Fabri-Tac glue inside her head. Using a sewing pin, I trace up from her lips to make sure it's centered, then poke a hole in her forehead. We'll come back to that in a moment. Using some pale purple and pink chalk pastels, I blush the body. It's hard to tell on camera, but somehow the matte varnish picked up a very faint pink tint. There must have been some leftover paint on my brush that didn't get fully washed out. Using some polymer clay, I sculpted her unicorn horn off camera, and here I'm painting it the same dark metallic purple as her hooves. Music 
After two layers of Mr. Super Clear, I started on her face. I have a photo of Rapidash open on my computer off screen so I could reference the colors. After a couple layers, I switched to acrylic paints to brighten up the colors. I apologize for the weird change in lighting here. I bought myself a new magnifying visor and apparently the LED light has a weird bluish tint to it. For her tail, I removed the plastic piece that was sticking out with pliers and squeezed in some hot glue. Then I put in the hair, which I had secured with an elastic band. The end result isn't necessarily the prettiest, but I'm okay with it. Oh hey, a different camera angle. I carefully put her head back on the body off camera. I also cut her bangs and curled her hair using the hot chopstick method. Basically, you curl the hair around a metal chopstick and use a hair straightener to heat and set the curls. It works best on yarn hair, but it works pretty good on nylon hair too. This entire time, I've been thinking about what clothes she should wear, if any. In the end, I decided on a molded on top. Using epoxy sculpt, I sculpted a strapless bra for her. I was careful around the torso joint so she would stay articulated there. Once it's cured, I paint it with a few layers of lavender paint with a lighter shade on the trim. To give her a little extra glamour, I added some 3D lashes. I bought these at the dollar store. I'm using Elmer's glue wall to adhere them in place. I almost forgot to do this, but I'm gluing brushed acrylic yarn to her lower legs to create the effect you see in the Pokemon. It's not quite the right shade of purple, but it doesn't bother me too much. With that, the doll is done. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time!